And from Tirana, I'm joined now by Albania's Justice Minister Etilda Gonaj. Uh, she's also a member of Prime Minister Edi Rama's Socialist Party. Hello and welcome to Euronews tonight. Thanks very much for speaking to us. We spoke to President Meta earlier and he had some very strong words uh, for your Socialist Party, for the government, uh, describing it as a one-party regime that is putting democracy at stake. Uh, good evening. Initially, let me thank you for this opportunity for uh, this interview. Uh, we are in the very, a very important phase for the implementation of a radical and unparalleled justice reform. Uh, it is a reform that has been supported by uh, European Commission, European uh, Union countries, and you say and of course that uh, we have achieved good results until now. And it's not being said just only by me or by the government or socialist party, but it's, uh, there are results that have been recognized by European, European Commission and, yet, and European Union countries. And yet, when we look at elections last year, the opposition boycotted them because of what they said was vote rigging, links to organized crime. And it's quite incredible, isn't it, that the president of a country is calling for mass protests against the government. This is a sign that he feels the political processes are not working, that this is not a government that is uh, truly democratic. His accusation is that you are trying to amass power by all these reforms you're carrying out. In the end, everything is about justice. So we are doing our efforts to implement this reform as it is foreseen since the beginning. And even the Constitutional Court uh, formula and procedure have been uh, always designed and uh, foreseen together with the expertise of European Commission experts and USA. So cannot be said that the president uh, has comments on how the or the way how the U constitutional court uh, it's uh, it's being grabbed or something else. Despite that, but instead uh, of trying to engage with the president, my... if I can just um, interrupt you there, sorry. Instead of trying to engage with the president, you're in the process of trying to impeach him. I mean, he has serious concerns. What are you doing to address these? And the fact that the opposition had such little confidence in you that they wouldn't even participate in elections last year. Uh, there are different actions uh, done by the President of Republic, and uh, this is the reason why uh, it is a commission uh, that is investiga investigating all the procedure, all the decision of the President of Republic. But as I mentioned, it's everything about justice. We are trying to install in Albania one, an, uh, one radical reform that wants to guarantee the main pillars of the rule of law, that it doesn't mean to have a justice system, that it, it is uh, impartial, independent, transparent, and not corrupted. And it's very difficult to see how difficult it is uh, to change the mentality, and it, not the cha to change the mentality of the citizens, but to change the mentality of the politicians. And but this is all very damaging, isn't it, to your hopes of joining the, the European Union? This is all very damaging to your hopes of joining the European uh, I Union. I think that uh, I'm convinced that Albania is moving forward and it's moving fast. And of course that we have to rebuild the trust of, uh, of youth, of the young generation for, uh, to, to have the Europe in Albania. And uh, this is very important about having even one good decision by uh, European Union countries for opening the negotiations. And they know very well what kind of efforts and sacrifice we have done, even from inside, about the implementation of the justice reform. And if it is a, a green flag that it is recognized even by the European Commission, as I mentioned, it is always the implementation of justice reform. And of course, that they have supported always in, in this mm -hmm. uh, new uh, path that Albania has undertaken. And this reform, it is uh, so recognized as, uh, as with good results. 
and wants to be replied even in other uh, Western Balkan countries. And I think that we have to be proud of that. Okay. Etilde Gonaj, thank you very much for talking to us. We appreciate your time. Thank you.